Okay, you guys, so today I got into Pottermore, and if you don't know what Pottermore is, shame on you. I'm just kidding. Um, go to Pottermore.com. It's a new Harry Potter website, and I am one of the million people that got into early access, and I got my welcome email today. Uh, but you know what? I promised you guys I would make a video, so here it is. And so today I am doing a super duper requested video, my most requested video, in fact and it is how to grow out your hair and really I don't know why people are asking me to do this video because I don't have long hair I mean it's kind of long it's like I would describe it as medium long but I wouldn't describe it as long here is my hair that's how long it is it was longer when I left the salon but I cut it myself I cut like an inch off because I had really, really bad split ends. So that's where my hair is. You know, it's not very long. It's still not as long as it used to be. But it's getting there. I think by my birthday it should be there. So everybody wants to know how I got my hair to this length. Even though I personally don't think that it's that long. But I'm going to let you guys know. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys a picture of my hair when it was at its shortest. That's my hair. This is a headshot that I did a while back. My hair hasn't been this short in a long time. In like a couple years actually. So this is my hair at its shortest. And it was super healthy. And like now. Now here's a comparison of the length. And I kept it that way for a long time. And then I decided that I wanted long hair again. So then I grew it out. And you can go look at my first few videos to see how long my hair used to be. Um, when I grew it out, it was a little longer than this. So I'm like an inch short of that. I, I would be at that length if I hadn't cut off the split end. A lot of people think that their hair doesn't grow. This is not true. Everybody's hair grows. Everybody. Unless you have some sort of disorder or you are very, very sick. Your hair is always growing. Now, the reason why some people, their hair will stay the same length year after year after year even though they don't cut it is because their hair is growing but at the bottom it's just breaking off breaking off and that is why your hair doesn't seem to be getting any longer on average hair grows about half an inch a month and that is an average so that means that there are some people whose hair grows faster than that and there are some people whose hair grows slower than that First of all, you're going to want to stop using heat so much, okay? This is why I had to cut off like three inches of my hair, okay? Go back, look at my old videos. My hair at one point was like to here. Okay, this is all new going on right here. Well, technically this is new, but you know what I mean. At most use heat on your hair like once a week and that's like if you have uh, relatively straight to wavy hair the curlier your hair is the more fragile it is okay second tip I have is to reduce your chemicals if you chemically process your hair don't do it so often um, so when I mean chemical processes, I mean coloring or relaxing your hair. So I, I get texturizers and I get them at most once every three months, okay? So that is at most four texturizers a year. And that is the same with hair coloring. You just want to do the roots. Why would you do your whole head if it's already colored, right? 
And also, I know a lot of girls who like to change their hair color all the time, and that means having to put it all over your hair. That is so bad for your hair. Cut your split ends off. Now, you will know if you need a trim if the bottom of your hair is see-through or just look and you, you can see the individual strands that are split. And you can cut off the little individual pieces if you don't want to just do a big chop. Um, but if the ends of your hair are like thin and see-through, it's time to cut those off. You're going to want to use a wide tooth comb when you're combing out your hair. So you don't want to use a rat tail comb like this. You're going to want to use a big wide tooth comb like this, right? And you're going to want to start from the bottom of your hair and work your way up while holding your hair so you're not pulling at your scalp, like so. Now my hair is curly, I finger detangle first because my fingers are a lot gentler than the comb. And really, that's basically how I grew my hair. So if you want to grow your hair longer, just do those simple tips, and I will see you guys later. Bye!